A clinical test has started to assess if the malaria medicine hydroxychloroquine fused with azithromycin, which is another potent antibiotic, is when given to a COVID patient. It can make the situation more complicated. After a dramatic increase in death rates, scientists have recommended that malaria drugs must not be used as a treatment to coronavirus. Hydroxychloroquine as an anti-malaria drug was bragged by US President Donald Trump as a cure of COVID-19. But it has enhanced the risk of heart ailments and deaths in COVID patients. The latest study about the hydroxychloroquine and its previous versions of chloroquine has been tested on COVID patients without any clinical trials, and scientists concluded a sobering picture. They stated the outcomes meant the drug must not be given to the patients at all without appropriate research settings. Although the Lancet Medical Journal, which was published online, is not a test prepared to evaluate the drug, it depicts that the bank to use it across the globe may be ill-suggested. Substantial numbers of doctors have been recommending it without any proper research or proof. It is also being said that the drug can result in heart irregularities, but several people have advised it is secure because of its retentive use in treating malaria. There was a hurry to use hydroxychloroquine in COVID-19 when Didier Raoult, a French doctor, said that he is treating the COVID-19 patients with this drug. President Trump then stated that hydroxychloroquine is less harmful than chloroquine and can be taken as a treatment of coronavirus. He also said that he has been using the drug for himself against the virus. The death ratio all through the world increased in people who took the drug as compared to those who didn't. One person among six died because of its dosage. On the other side, one in five who took chloroquine with azithromycin died. The death rate in patients who didn't use hydroxychloroquine or chloroquine was meager, around 1 in 10. The stats are not corresponding because it was not a test. The patients belong to different genders, age groups with varying levels of sicknesses and general health. U.S. authors of the study state permitting for these deviations, there was still more eminent fatality rate among those who took the drugs. The team discovered that severe cardiac arrhythmias, which result in irregular and rapid breathing in the lower chamber of the heart, were casual in every group taking the dosage of any of the four COVID cure regimens. The highest mortality rate was observed in the group where patients were treated with hydroxychloroquine with another antibiotic. 8% of the COVID patients grew a heart arrhythmia compared to those 0.3% of patients who were never given the drugs. Professor Mandeep R. Mehra, as the head of the study, stated this is the first big-scale study to discover the strong evidence about the treatment of COVID-19 by chloroquine or hydroxychloroquine, and we haven't observed any benefit of them to the patients. Rather, our evaluation recommends it may be linked to a raised risk of acute heart issues and a high fatality rate. Random clinical tests and evaluations are necessary to confirm the benefits or harms linked to these agents. Meanwhile, we recommend these drugs must not be used as a cure for COVID-19 beyond the clinical assessments. Other scientists recommended that dosages should not be used in remediating COVID-19 beyond clinical evaluations. Although moderated tests will be needed for positive affirmation, the readings are that these drugs are surely not to be used beyond an evaluation setting where people can be supervised for complications. One might also inquire if the resources essential for major studies might be better deviated to other reasons, concurrently permitting the drugs themselves to be utilized for their real purpose. Anyways, let me know what you think about in the comment section below. I will see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to click the like button and share this video with your friends. Always stay tuned and subscribe to our channel by hitting the bell icon to see our latest videos. Thanks for joining us today.